check one, two. It's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Oh, it's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Oh, it's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Oh, it's me. It's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Oh, not my mother, not my father, but it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Oh, not my sister, not my brother, but it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Oh, not the preacher, not the deacon, but it's me, oh Lord, standing in. Oh Lord, not the earth, not the choir member, but it's me, oh Lord, standing in a, everybody help me, it's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer, everybody, it's me, it's me, it's me. Me, oh Lord, standing in need of prayer, somebody pray for me, had me on their mind, took the time and prayed for me, oh I'm so glad they prayed, oh I'm so glad they prayed. Everybody say, I'm so glad they prayed for me. Oh, my mama prayed for me. Had me on her mind. Took the time and prayed for me. Oh, I'm so glad she prayed. I'm so glad she prayed. I'm so glad she prayed for me. All right, we can open up our hymnals to page 21, everybody. To God be the glory. Hymnal page 21. All right, everybody, to God be the glory. To God be the glory. Christ lives in has not so. Gave us his son. Who yet in his life and atonement for sin and open the light gate that all may come in. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus and give him the glory. Great things he, verse 3. Oh, perfect redemption, the purchase of blood to every believer, the promise of God. The violence of tender who truly believes that moment from Jesus a pardon receives. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord. Make the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father, great Jesus. Uh huh. And give him the glory. Great things he has done. First week. Great things he had taught us. Great things he has done. And great our rejoicing through Jesus the Son. But purer and higher and greater will be our wonder of truth. We'll see your oh, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Come on, praise him. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. It let the people rejoice and draw the Father. And, and give him the glory, great things he has done. Good morning. Good morning. Today is called a worship. Missionaries, we have got to have a heart. Missionaries, you 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 have got to have a heart. Thank you. God bless everyone. Hymnal page 568, everyone. Hymnal 568. Everyone should have a hymnal under the pulpit. Everybody, God of our fathers, God of
from wars of Kumbaya, my Lord, Kumbaya, oh Lord, oh Lord, Kumbaya, come by here, come by here, my Lord, come by, everybody ask the Lord to come by, oh Lord, y'all, come by. Oh, come by here, good Lord. Come by here, 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 here. Oh, oh, Lord. Come by here. Oh, somebody needs you, Lord. Come by here. Oh, somebody needs you, Lord. Come by 
he oh 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 somebody needs you lord come by here oh lord come by here we need a blessing lord come by here we need a blessing we need a blessing lord come by here we need we need a blessing lord come by here oh lord oh lord Come by here, somebody needs you, Lord. Come by here, somebody needs you, Lord. Oh, Lord, come by here. Somebody needs you, Lord. Come by here. Oh, Lord. Come by here. We need a miracle. We need a miracle, Lord. Come by here. We need a miracle. Come by here, oh Lord. We need a miracle. Come by here, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Come by here. I want to thank you, Lord. Come by here. We want to thank you. We want to thank you, Lord. Come by here. We want to thank you, Lord. Come by here. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Come by here. Listen, y'all. We still here, Lord. We want you to come by here. We're still here, Lord. Come by here. We stay here, Lord. Come by here. Oh, Lord. Come by here. Yes, Lord.
Good morning. This is the time that we pause in our service to recognize and remember our missionary sisters who were called from labor to reward since our last Emphasis Sunday. Um, you know, I was having a difficult time coming up with something to say, or something to do to lighten the mood. And I, I didn't know. I still don't know what to say or what to do. But what I do know is that God gives us angels yes, he right here on earth. And some of those angels are what we consider missionaries. And guess what? They're right here. They're right here. So I want to give the family and friend of our missionary sisters who were called from labor to reward a candle that we may remember them. And I also want every missionary to please stand because we're family and missionaries pray for one another. And during times of sadness, during times of happiness, we pray for one another. So right now I'm gonna call the names of our missionaries and those who were former YPD members. Rachel Outlaw, she passed away November 14th, 2022. And Helene Powers Patterson, who passed away December 6, 2022. May a family member please accept the candle for us, or by the way, we'll just, we'll, we'll just hand it to you. And we'll accept this for Miss Outlaw, Miss Miss Worthington, sorry. Oh. We're continuing to pray for you and know that you're never alone. We have your back, no matter what the circumstances. I want to God bless you and to keep you. Amen. <laughs> Everybody talking about it, that ain't going there. Everybody talking about it, that ain't going. Everybody talking about it, that ain't going there. Oh, my Lord. Everybody talking about it, that ain't going there. Everybody talking about it, that ain't going. Everybody talking about it, that ain't going there. Oh, my Lord. Everybody talking about it, that ain't going there. Thank <laughs> you. 
Good morning. good morning to God, my father, to my sisters and brothers in Christ. It's just good to be back home at First Day in the Church. I just want to let you know, and thank you for the committee for giving me this awesome task to uh, present to you and introduce to some my auntie, Mrs. Gwendolyn Baskin Williams. Would her family please stand? Thank you. And if you look in your, in your program, you will see the bio in there. Gwendolyn Baskin Williams is the youngest daughter of the late Willie D. Baskin and Mrs. Annie K. Baskin. She has been a member of First Amity Church for more than 51 years. Gwen is married to my uncle, Reverend Theory Williams Jr. and to that, Three union were born, the late Reverend Theory Bernard Williams III and Evelyn, Minister Christopher Daniel Williams, Cindy, and Reverend David Jerome Williams and Jera. Gwen has eight grandchildren and three great-grandchildren. Sister Gwendolyn is a 1967 graduate of Gary Roosevelt High School. She attended McMurray College in Jacksonville, Florida, Jacksonville, I'm sorry, Illinois, and Midwest Business College in Gary, Indiana. She has been employed with Gary Wine and Liquors in the computer room and Equable Cigna Insurance as a benefit approval, technical assistant and a quality reviewer. Gwen is also employed with Sears and J.C. Penney's in the catalog department as a sales clerk at Ellis Ayers as a part-time secretary at First AME Church also. She, she was the first lady at Bethel AME Hammond, Indiana, and is currently the district leader with Prime America. So as you can see, if you need any assurance, check with Monty. Gwendolyn is a former president of the NORF Missionary Taylor Society, recording secretary of the Indiana Conference, and third vice president of the Indiana Conference. She is currently the third vice president of the North F. Taylor Missionary Society and the fourth district historiography of the Women Missionary Society. Beyond all of that, all you need to know is that she's a child of God. She is going to give you the word. She, you're going to digest the word, and you're going to live this word and walk in the word. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I don't know. 
Yes, God is real. Oh, I can feel Him in my soul. Oh, yes, my God is real. He's so real in my soul. Yes, God is real. Oh, He has won. Thank you, Sister Diane, for giving that beautiful transition. And thank you, choir. I just appreciate you. You know, you, you just set the tone. So I just want to say good morning, giving honor to God, who is the head of my life. I would like to first thank Reverend Dr. Virgil Woods and the officers of First Day Me Church for allowing the Nora F. Taylor Missionary Society to share his pulpit for our annual Missionary Day. Then I would like to recognize some people that some of you probably don't know, which is our supervisor is Mrs. Penny Hartfield White. We have our past fifth connectional president, Mother Dolores Kennedy Williams. We have an aspirant second vice president to the connectional sister, Lynette Williams King. Our Episcopal President, Kimberly Hamilton Foyt. The Indiana Conference President, Sister Misty Goss. Our Gary Area Chairperson, which is Eula Mitchell. And all of our officers of the WMS and other missionaries, visitors, and my local president, Janet Johnson. <laughs> and all of the members of the Nora F. Teller Missionary Society that have selected me to be their speaker today. Now that protocol has been established, let us pray. Heavenly Father, touch me right now. Help me, Lord, to bring forth a word for your people. Minister to me, Lord. Give me what you want your people to hear this day. And I just say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Because if it were not for you, I would not be here. So I just say thank you, Lord. Amen. Now my theme, as your program states, is God's commission, our mission, our calling. But when I finish, you can tell me or ask yourself, is the title of my theme, should it be God's commission, our mission, our calling, or moving forward in faith? Okay, we have all survived the pandemic because we are here. So we are thankful that God has watched over us and blessed us to not have gone through the things that a lot of people, even some of those who we know and are or were related to. Are we thankful? How do we show our thankfulness back to God? Well, God has commissioned us all with special gifts. Did you know that? With special gifts. Let us start with the Webster's Dictionary definition, the word commission, as the act of committing something entrusted to be done. This tells us that God has entrusted us to do something. Second Chronicles 7 and 14, we say every Sunday, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves, pray, seek, crave, and require of necessity my face, 
and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, forgive their sins, and heal their land. That's from the Amplified Bible. So we know that we are God's people, all of us, and we have something to do that God has told you to do. That is our commission. God has told all of us something he wants us to do. Are you listening to him on your commission from God? Our missionary statement says we are called to strengthen our faith and sent to continue the ministry of Jesus Christ by service and witness in the world. So where does our faith come from? Hebrews 11.1 1 says, now faith is the, the assurance, confirmation, the title deed of the things we hope for, being the proof of things we do not see and conviction of their reality. Faith perceiving as real fact what is not revealed to the senses. Then skipping down to chapter to verse 3, chapter 11 says, By faith we understand that the world during the successive ages were framed, fashioned, put in order, and equipped for their intended purpose by the word of God so that we see what was not made out of things which are visible. So as a missionary, you don't always see or eventually realize that you're doing mission work. It just comes naturally. You visit the sick. You call someone and encourage them. You give someone a ride to the store. Or you just did it for no special reason other than something inside of you told you to do it. God. That was doing something by faith. If you did it with no interior motive, that is why in 2 Corinthians 5 and 7 says, For we walk by faith. We regulate our lives and conduct ourselves by the convictions or beliefs respecting man's relationship with God and divine things and trust and holy fervor. Thus we walk, not by sight or appearance. So God's commission is that we are called to by God to strengthen our faith and our mission is to study our word because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So we must put time reading and studying our word, which is the Bible. And daily, just as we watch TV or other things that hinder us from studying, we must put in our agenda some daily time to study the word. Jeremiah 33 and 3 says, Call to me, and I will answer you, and show you great and mighty things, fenced and hidden, which you do not know, do not distinguish and recognize, have knowledge of and understand. Now we know that we are all missionaries, whether we are a part of the Nora F. Teller Missionary Society, as a member or a male associate member, God has commissioned us all as missionaries. Now, what is our calling? Our calling is to continue the ministry of Jesus Christ by service and witness in the world. So how are we supposed to do that? God has given us gifts. Our gifts are the fruit of the spirit, which is Galatians 5 and 22 says, but the fruit of the Holy Spirit, the work which is his presence within accomplishes, is love, joy, gladness, peace, patience, even temper, forbearance, kindness, goodness, benevolence, faithfulness. Verse 23 goes to say gentleness, meekness, humility, self-control, self-restraint and continence. Against such things there is no law that can bring a charge. Verse 24, and those who belong to Christ Jesus, the Messiah, have crucified the flesh, the godless human nature, and with its passion and appetites and desires. 
25 goes on to say, if we live by the Holy Spirit, let us also walk by the Spirit. If the Holy Spirit, we have our life in God, let us go forward. Walking in line, our conduct controlled by the Spirit. Remember I said, you have to study your word in order to know to walk by the Spirit so that your word can minister to you. So you should ask God in prayer, what does he want you to do? How are you to use the fruit of the Spirit to continue the ministry of Jesus Christ by your service and witness in the world? Some of the things you do will do collectively. Some things you will do individually. But if you are studying your word and praying and asking God, what can I do to continue the ministry of Jesus Christ? He will answer you. Remember Romans 10, 17 says, so, that, so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Now, I'm going to jump to the King James Version and read Ephesians 4, 3 through 7. says, endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body, one spirit, even as ye are called in hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all, and in you all. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. So you jump down to verse 11 through 13, and he gave some apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, some pastors, and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come into the unity of faith and the knowledge of the Son of God, unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Which are you called to? Ask yourself the question. The answer is in the song that we just heard. Yes, God is real. There are some things I may not know or we may not know. There are some places I'm sure I can't go. But there is one thing that God is real and we can feel him in our souls. Yes, God is real. So I ask you now in closing, are you moving forward in faith? And are you following God's commission, God's mission for you, and God's calling in your life? And know that we are all missionaries. Amen. Amen. son of this church as a son of this preacher this morning, as a son of First Day and Me, that we got another home that we all need to go back to, amen? And I promise you we have a good God who came down so that we might have a way back. So the first and most important thing of any service is do you know Jesus? Do you know that no matter what happens, that you'll be going home? 
And if you don't know, it's time for you to come. It's time for you to come and give your life over to him today so that you can have assurance that you too will be going home. Is there anyone here today that does not know Jesus and has not accepted him into his heart or her heart? If there would be one today, I would ask you to come. No one is assured of tomorrow, but what I can assure you is there's open arms for you right now. I can assure you of that. I can assure you that if you're feeling alone, that there's someone that can comfort you. I can assure you that there is a God. And all you have to do is say, yes, I love you. But there's three calls this morning, not just for those who don't know Jesus and accepted him in his heart, but also you might be visited here this morning and you need a good church home. I can tell you for generations that this is a good church home, amen? And I can tell you for generations to come, this will be a place where you can grow in your faith. If you do not have a church home this morning, please come into the fold. And the third and final call is sometimes you've got something going on in your life that you just need some prayer for. I know we go through some things in life here. If you need your brothers and sisters to pray for you this morning, won't you come? Don't sit and believe that whatever's going on with you is too insignificant. No, God sees it. God's waiting for you to come and take care of it for you. Don't believe that you don't have a Lord that loves you. Don't come to the service and not get the service that Jesus is waiting to give you. All three, the doors of the church are open for you this morning. It is his will that every need be supplied. You are important to me. I need you to survive. I need you. You need me. We all apart of God's body. Stand with me. Stand with me. We're all apart of God's body. It is His will every need is supplied. You are important to me. I need you to survive. You are important to me. I need you to survive. I pray for you. You pray for you. You pray for me. We're all a part of God's body. Stand with me. Agree with me. We're all a part of God's body. It's His will that every need will be supplied. You are important to me. I need you to survive. You are important to me. I need you to survive. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you,
Hello? Okay, everyone, we're going to do our normal uh, way of taking up the collection. We're gonna ask you to each stand if you're coming down and you're gonna go all the way around the back and come down the center aisle and then back to your seats. Thank you. There won't be a separate missionary offering. We're putting it all together, please. We sing the praises to the King, for He is the King of Kings. We sing the praises to the King, for He's the King of Kings. We sing, we sing the praises to the King, for He is the King of Kings. We sing the praises to the King, for He's the King of Kings. Give Him glory, for He's the King of Kings. Give Him glory. For he's the king of kings, give him glory. For he's the king of kings, give him glory. For he's the king of kings, we sing the praises to the king. For he is the king of kings, we sing the praises to the king. For he's the king of kings, we sing the praises to the king. For he is the king of kings, we sing the praises to the king. For he's the king of kings, give him glory. For he's the king of kings, give him glory. For he's the king of kings, give him glory. For he's the king of kings, give him glory. For he's the king of kings. All hell King Jesus. All hell King Jesus. All hell King you All things come of thee, O Lord, and of thine own have we given thee. We have, oh, we have two presentations to make today on behalf of the Missionary Society to our speakers. Now, you may wonder why I say speakers, and we only have one speaker. But last year, Sister Lynette Basso was our speaker. And we failed to recognize her as our speaker when the service was done. So we would like for Sister Lynette, that's why she's in the bulletin as well as Sister Gwen. So we also have something for Sister Gwen. So if both of them could come forward, or do I need to come downward? And we have two of our YPDers who will bring the presentations and present them to them. Okay, we'll, we'll go down. Because this is not easy to do, to be up here, it's not. Over there, I'll get over there. the glory. Okay. And um, the on behalf glory. of the Nora F. Taylor Missionary Society of First Amity Church, we just have a small token of our thanks 
for for you to agreeing to be our speaker for the day. We just thank you and we encourage you. Thank you for your words from God. Thank you. And thank you. Be the glory to God. Be the glory to God. Be the glory for the things He has done. Good morning, family. Good morning. We have had a beautiful service this morning. Amen. Amen. Thank you to all the participants. And I have uh, announcements for this week, so please uh, adjust your, uh, uh, yourself accordingly. The North District Conference will be May, uh, March 31st through April 1st. Missionaries are asked to bring donations for the Boys and Girls Club, and they will be blessed at 10 o'clock that morning. They would also like 100 males to sing at the Friday evening service. Rehearsal begins at 5.30. The attire is white shirts, ties, and dark pants. Have you ever wondered about the advertisements that you hear about Advantage Healthcare Insurance Plan for Social Security recipients? On first Sunday,